Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am gonna announce another winner for our giveaway on our other YouTube video, and the winner for today is Trin Lewis. Congratulations to you for um, winning one of our surprise collection and for for today's nails. Before we get started, we are gonna have another giveaway. Um, you know, answer my question in the uh, comment and the winner will be chosen at random. You and answer your question in the video. In the video, yeah. Leave, but um, so like the video, leave us a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and make sure you ring the bell and leave your comment for another chance to win another giveaway from us. And for today's nails, I will be doing some vintage foil looks. Super easy. I think it's super easy, but it's super cute and simple. <laughs> All right guys, check it out. All right guys, I already have the Not Polished Universal Tips on and today we'll be starting out with the ombre nail first. And I'll pick up number 101 from Not Polished and put it on there, clean my brush, dip it in a little bit of monomer and then flatten out the top area first like that. And then apply a little more pressure and press and pull the rest of the product down. And um, make sure when you guys are working in the hotter climate in the hotter weather that you pick up a little bit more monomer in your brush and if it's colder a little bit less monomer because when it's hot the product will dry a lot faster and when it's colder the product is a lot runnier so just adjust your um the way you pick up your monomer with your brush accordingly to the weather also all right guys and um, again, I'm doing, I'm, I'll be doing another ombre on this nail. And this color is um, M88. It's a pinkish nude from Not Polished also. As you can see, I already flattened out the top area first. And then I'm going to press and pull the rest of the product down to the tip of the nails. And I keep forgetting to mention to you guys, I am using a number 14 brush from Not Polished. It's 100% Kalinsky hair, so it's super soft. And um, if you guys take care of it really good, it will last you guys really, really long, all right? And I'm just using the brush just to press uh, my nail into, um, the product into the nail, trying to keep the shape of the nail nice and neat. And if you guys ever get a little bit of product stuck on your brush and you can't get it out because it's already dried up, make sure you do not soak it in acetone. What I do is I soak it in um, monomer. So soak it and then kind of wipe it off, soak it, wipe it off. All right guys, and um, I'm using a soft white with this nude. So I'll put on the first B first and make sure when you guys are doing an ombre, the second B, like the transition in color, make sure the bead is wetter than usual okay guys because if it's too dry you put it on you go to pull it down like that it might get um what do you say it might give it might dry too fast and give you that harsh line rather than the perfect transitioning of the ombre all right and now i'm just gonna go in with a layer of clear acrylic just to make sure that when i um go to file the, on top of the nails, I won't lose that ombre effect. So I'll just go in and encapsulate it with a little bit of clear powder just like that. Doesn't have to be too thick because um, the, the, the thinner the ombre, the thicker the clear, the thicker the ombre on underneath, the thinner the clear. I hope that makes sense. All right, so, and then for the other nail, I'll be doing an ombre also, same color, M88 first B first and then I'm just gonna pull it down make sure it's wet all right guys make sure the bead is wet when you guys are um, doing an ombre the second bead the transitioning color oh I hope that makes sense <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna clean off the edges first like that and now I'm gonna wait for it to dry just a bit and then now that is dry I am gonna go in and encapsulate it with a thin layer of clear acrylic also. And as you, I mentioned earlier, you see, I have a little bit of um, 
acrylic stuck to my brush and what I'm gonna do after I apply this clear on is I will soak it in monomer just for a bit and then um, that will soften that piece of acrylic off and I'm just gonna wipe it apply a little bit of pressure and um, use a paper towel and just kind of like gently wipe it off um, uh, if it's um, if it's really on there it might take a little bit longer to get that piece off but usually just soak it in monomer it should take care of that okay guys never in acetone because that will ruin your brush all right now i'm gonna go in with my five in one cross bit from not polish and just pre-shape my nail um first before i do my hand filing i like to use my drill to shape my nails And for my question of the day today is, um, where are you guys from and are your clients asking for fall nails yet? And what month do they usually ask you for fall nails? Because for me, around my area, usually is about middle September and September, end of September, beginning of October. And that's when I started doing more like um, fall designs. And I'm, um, you know, I don't know if you guys know, but I live in San Diego, so the weather kind of like stayed the same all year. But leave me your answer down below. I really want to know. And um, the winner will be chosen at random again. And now we're just gonna go over the top of the nails and smooth everything out. There you go. And all the way down to the tip of the nail. And I'm just gonna go in just a bit to taper in that corner. There you go. And then now I'm gonna go in with the not polish hand file. What I love about this emery board is it's very sturdy and it's a larger, it's a bigger um, file. Always use a bigger file and a very sturdy file when you guys do your shaping. I find that the smaller files are easily slip off the finger when I um, shape. So I always use the bigger um, hand file. So we're just going to go in and um, buffer everything out nice and smooth. And what I'm using right now is a transfer gel. It's a not polished transfer gel. And I'm just going to put on half of the nail only. Just like that and then just pull it down make sure you clean off the edges just a bit there you go and then I'm just gonna apply the transfer gel to the other half of the nail just like that and make sure when you guys are working with the transfer gel just make sure that your lamp is strong enough because sometimes if it's under cure it won't the transfer foil won't transfer over properly all right, so make sure your lamp is strong enough. And then just like that, I'm just gonna clean off the edges just a bit. And then I'm gonna cure it underneath my light for 30 seconds. And now that it's cured, I'm gonna go in directly with the transfer foil. And I'm just gonna apply it on and apply a lot of pressure when you press it down just like that. And what I like to do is I like to kind of lift it up just a bit bit after I'm done you see I'm kind of peeking it and see where it's kind of missing and I'll press it back down just to make sure it covers that little um, corner right there just like that and then for this side again I'm just gonna apply on my other uh, half but I'll just leave that little clear gap right there just like that and for this foil I bought it on Amazon a while ago so I don't know if they still have the exact same one but you can search for it it's just foil transfer foil for nails there you go and I'm just gonna peel it off 
and at the top don't worry if it's not super straight it's okay because we're gonna um, be drawing a white line on top I mean our uh, black lines over it so it's all right if it's not super straight okay guys don't stress out about that so I'm just gonna go in and press the foil on the missing pieces just like that and same thing for this one I just go directly in with the transfer um, with the transfer foil and then make sure you apply a lot of pressure and press it down just like that and press it down make sure you apply a good amount of pressure just to make sure that they stick and then again I just kind of lightly lightly pull it off to kind of just see there you go and then now I'm just gonna go in with a black gel polish I went directly in it with the black gel polish and I'm just gonna paint it on but for you for anybody that's actually not very comfortable with drawing the lines what I suggest you do is either put on a matte top coat or a shiny top coat and then and then cure for 30 seconds and then draw on your black line the reason being is if you mess up the black line you can wipe it off with alcohol or al um, alcohol or acetone without removing the transfer art on top of it because if you did not apply the top coat and you mess up the line you go to wipe it off you will remove the the transfer art on the, the the flowers the transfer art or you know the art piece on top of it and then you have to redo it all over so if you put on a top coat that means it will protect that art underneath so when if you mess up the black line you can wipe it off without removing the flowers from the bottom i hope that makes sense but that's the little trick that you guys should do just to make sure that um in case you your line didn't come out straight or didn't come out un, um, even, you can wipe it off without removing the whole um, um, the whole art on top of it. Alright, guys. So I'm just gonna go in and make sure I color it in just like that. And um, even if you miss a spot, like you see that tiny little corner right there, I did not get the transfer foil on it it's okay because once you put on your top coat you won't even see it so don't even stress out about that little missing corner just move on and when you put on your top coat you won't even be able to tell okay guys so i'm just gonna go in and darken that area and what i'm gonna do is i am gonna after i'm done with this i'm gonna cure it for 30 seconds before i work on my second line Okay, so now, well, that's cure. I'm gonna work on my second line because if you didn't cure that first painting, at that first black outline you did, and you work on your second line, and you mess up on the second line, you go to wipe it off, it might, you might end up wiping the first outline you did. So just cure it and then work on your second line. In case you mess up, you can just wipe it off without messing up the whole um, piece that you've done before. And again, just for this nail, I'm going with the black also. And this is just a black gel from Not Polish. You can order it on notpolish.com. And I like to use it for my all my painting, all my hand painting, because I find it it's at a perfect consistency for me. And there you go. I'm just going to outline around the edges just like that. Okay, when we're done with this, we're gonna dry it for 
30 second all right and now this is all done and dry what i'm using right now is the super diamond gel from not polished it's from a, it's um it coming in a squeeze tube so what i like about it is it's super convenient and it's a non-cleansing diamond gel which means I mean, it does not dry like sticky so after if you're applying the diamond you don't actually have to wipe it off with alcohol or anything because it's, it doesn't dry sticky it dries um super smooth and not tacky at all so i'm just gonna go in and apply on my uh on my little rhinestone right now and then after that's done i'm gonna cure it under the light for 30 seconds all right guys and of course, make sure before you dry it, make sure you straighten out your stones before you put it in the light. And then, same goes for this finger. I'm just gonna apply my little gems and then straighten it out before I cure it, or else it's gonna come out crooked. There you go, straighten it out just like that and cure it. And then on the next nail, same thing. I have my little gems in the center. All right, now all the gems are done and dry. I'm gonna go in with the not polished matte top coat and apply it on the rest of the nail and just make sure that you guys go around the gems and not um, get the matte top coat on top of the gems. There you go, and just go around it just like that. And make sure you guys clean off the edges of the nails before you cure them because we want to keep the shape of the nail super sharp, all right? Same goes for this nail. I'm just gonna apply it around the um, around the rhinestone just like that, and then make sure you guys wipe off the edges just like that, just a tad, tad bit, just to ensure that the shape of the nail stay um, super sharp. Alright, just wipe it off and then we're going to cure it under the light for 30 seconds. And this is the finished product of the whole look. Very vintage and super cute and super easy. What do you guys think about that video? If you like it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Uh, like the video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to ring the bell and I'll see you guys next time.